In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a professional brochure design in PowerPoint. As you can see here, you can just replace your business title here. And I've added an image which I've downloaded from the net. You can replace your own business image and change the headline. And then below you have got three options or you can add one more options uh, and just change the text according to your requirement. And below you can add the website details or if you have some social media accounts also you can add it here so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide go to insert shapes select a rectangle i'm going to draw a rectangle at the top this much size and shape outline you can make it no outline and shape fill you can give some dark gray colors and then i'm just going to press ctrl d to duplicate this and i'm going to put it down and I'll reduce the size a little bit and again by pressing ctrl D I'm making one more you can see here and this color I'm going to change to this gold color and just drag it down and reduce the size by holding the alt key and then I'm going to insert I'm going to add one more shape maybe this much size the rectangle you can see here this also the gold one let me just uh, make it more down so that the white line is not visible and this shape outline i'll make it no outline all these things we have to make it no outline and then go to insert shapes select one more rectangle draw the rectangle in between here and give a different color for the time being shape outline no outline so this green color i'm going to fill with an image which i have downloaded from the net to fill the image right mouse click go to format shape and you can just select picture or texture fill the by default this has been i've used in the recently so it's coming there you can just go to insert from file and select the file from your pc and here you can just remove this one and you can see here it will be by default it will be zero zero and this will be zero so here you can see here it is not aligned properly so i can just reduce it you can see i'll bring it down and here i can bring it up you can see here so this is the way you can and this also right or left or whatever you can play with the offset settings here and this color also I'm just going to give the same color which is this one and here the down one the bottom one I'm going to make it more black here you can see here and then the first one the first shape I'm just going to cut it for that go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw a small rectangle maybe this much size shape fill you can give some different color shape outline make it no outline and using this arrow I'm just going to tilt this and I'll just put it here I'm going to cut this so select this shape first and then this rectangle under format merge shape just say fragment here can you see then I can just simply select delete this one delete this one and maybe at the bottom also this one delete that one so you can see here for this color also I'm just going to give some different color which is this one and if you want you can give the same color uh, or the black color or yeah let me can use the black color here and this also I want to bring it more down let me just go here and increase it more down so that the buildings can be clearly visible okay so this also I can just increase at the top right so this looks perfectly so we can see here our basic design has been done it time to need to add some text here here also you can add one shape you can just select this press ctrl d and reduce the size by holding the shift key you can see here and then go to format rotate and just say flip horizontal and just put it here this side just to give one shape here all right now it's time to add the text go to insert text box first of all i'm adding here 
I'm going to make a white color and I will just say business title and I'm going to select this and make the font as open sans or whichever font which you like it make it bold increase the size and keep it here so this is your business title press ctrl d to duplicate it and I'm going to add here the main title or whatever whichever title you call it I'll just say headline maybe this is your headline if you like to add if you want to change the color up to you so I can just put it if you want you can add some detailed text here and then I'm going to insert some options for that go to insert shapes select the oval shape and draw the oval shape by holding the shift key and I'm just going to place it here and the color I'm going to use the same color shape outline make it no outline and if you want you can give some shadow effect something like this and below you can add some detailed text again I can just go to insert text box and I will just say option 01 you can make it white color again same font I'm going to use it center align and I'm just going to put it here and if you want you can add detailed text here now I'm going to insert one line you can see here this line to divide or segregate this one hold the shift key and give the same color here you can see here put it exactly in the center and then I'm going to select this option press ctrl D so this is option number two and ctrl D this is option number three and I'm just going to select this press ctrl D and just put it here and to make sure that this is properly uh, aligned select these three options align you can just say align horizontally you can see here and this also just adjust it according to the requirement and then I'm just going to make this is option 2 and this is option 3 and to add the icons uh, some few days back I have given the free icons if you don't have or if you are using the latest version you can go to insert icons and select some relevant icons from here for example let me just select this this and say this insert and you can see here this three has been inserted I'm just going to select one reduce the size and put it in the center you can see here this is in center again select this one I'm going to reduce by holding the shift key and this one will be here so you can see here I've added three options and here you can add the website details here just double control D and just put your website name here www.website.com make it stretched that's it and put it in the center your design is ready and once you do the changes you can go to simply file you can just say save as or you can use the export and you can make a create PDF or uh, some other file here or if you want you can make a video also so it's up to you what exactly you need to do a print or just you want to uh, convert to PDF and circulate it that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye